the reality is is that you are literally a piece of energy a soul but let's call it let's be a little bit more you know earthy and let's call it a piece of energy that is inhabiting this human form and everything is energy Einstein already proved that and you know that too right and this energy is neutral it is what you do with this energy that will make a difference in your life and will make a different difference in other people's lives hi everyone it's Iris and Chissy with me today um, it's so beautiful out here I'm not sure how clear you guys can see it but it's it's always so peaceful coming to my mom's house. I feel definitely renewed when I come over here because it's so quiet and of course your mom's house is always gonna be so yummy and delicious for the most part, right? Not everybody feels that way. And today is gonna be definitely more on a personal note on how much, <laughs> how much I hated this planet. Um, I was definitely one of those people that I really I really hated this planet because I couldn't understand why there was so much suffering in the world. You know, there's so much, if, if, if there's a God and if there is love, why is there so much suffering in this world? And so as I started awakening, I started coming to the realization of why it is that this is all happening and the truth is, is that it is all based on the energy that you're that you want to project into the world and I realized that hating something hating this planet hating hate and hating God because I didn't believe in God for a very long time um, if you haven't known my story um, I definitely suggest you go into into YouTube or into the other videos and I mean I'll give you a brief a, a brief scenario of what it was right so, I mean, I come from being a mess. I come from having a problem with drugs. I come from, uh, you know, having eating disorder. I had bulimia for over 13 years. Um, I, unfortunately, I have been raped. And that actually was the turning point in my life. You know, I, I, I had uh, alcohol issues mainly. I had drug issues mainly. And um, nothing was enough. I. You know, I even went through an overdose, and even then, I still didn't um, didn't get my life together. And I started getting my life together when actually I got raped. When I got when I got raped was when I realized how much of a victim mentality I was in, and that was for me the ultimate victimization. That's when I started to awaken to a reality where I started waking to a reality where. It is what you choose to exhibit and exude out into the world is what is going to come back to you. Many times when people seek my help, they are in distress and they are in a huge lack of belief of this planet and a huge lack of belief of this world. They, they, you know, We carry so much disappointment. But the reality is, is that you are literally a piece of energy, a soul but let's call it, let's be a little bit more, you know, earthy. And let's call it a piece of energy that is inhabiting this human form. And everything is energy. Einstein already proved that, and you know that too, right? And this energy is neutral. It is what you do with this energy that will make a difference in your life and will make a different difference in other people's lives. And so one of the biggest things that I hear from people is, you know, as even as especially clients because those are the people that I am in touch with the most right that they hate people and what I tell them when they hate people is that you're not doing anything better in the world when you hate people they're like oh I hate people but I love animals and it's like okay but you're not doing anything better you know um, they talk about how we hate being judged or I hate being judged I you know we were so ridiculed when we were children right we were we were abused when we were children whether whether it was by our peers whether it was by our teachers whether it was by our parents and that abuse stays with us you know it, it, it turns into disappointment it turns into hate it turns into a lack of trust and what happens is, is that when we don't heal ourselves, what 
energy do you think that you're putting out into the world? That's something that I was not aware of. And that's something that I hope that in this video I can make you aware of, right? There's a study that I actually really like to talk about and this study consists of rats. And when they put two rats or even a group of rats, but mainly when they put two rats and they shocked one rat, what do you think that the other rat is gonna do? You know, when I asked this to a client, she said, she's like, well, you know, he was hurt and he probably ran away. And that's completely not true. That's not what happened to that rat. What that rat did was, is that that rat was shocked. In other words, was in pain, was given pain and was given stress. So what do you think that that rat is gonna do? That rat actually went to another rat and, sh and, and attacked the other rat even when it wasn't the other rat's fault. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we do with pain every day, all day. That's why the people that rape other people were raped themselves. That's why people that hurt other people are hurting themselves. And so this is why it's so important to transmute everything into love and compassion because this is how pain trickles down. This is how confusion trickles down. This is how addictions are passed. This is how loneliness is passed because every person that has felt pain at one point or another is going to be in charge of that and is going to want to discharge that pain. And you cannot kill fire with fire. You can only kill fire with love. This is what happens. And the same thing goes for love. When you are filled with love, what do you want to do? You want to help people, you want to hug more, you want to smile more. Smiling is contagious. Hugs are contagious. Love is contagious. Happiness is contagious. So is pain. So you choose what you want to trickle down to the world. And so when I started learning about this and when I started realizing that that people and especially when I started helping people even more when I started awakening myself and healing those parts of myself that you know ever felt like people have hurt me in the past because they did this to me and they did that and they they and the blame and the pointing of the finger I realized that I'm not doing anything for the world I am only passing down resentment and judgment which is only making our world a worse place to live in and so the only way that I was able to feel even better was through forgiveness. The only way that I was ever even going to honestly be successful. I mean, the key to success at this point in my life, what I've learned is literally forgiveness. I am in a I am in a mastermind of a lot of, you know, beautiful amazing business people and we're all learning on how to manifest and and how to um, uh, uh, awaken even more and especially manage our money and just become the best version of ourselves and it's very focused on money. It's very focused on understanding the energy of money and the single most important thing that I that I actually learned was that forgiveness is the only thing that will ever let you set yourself free to receive more success and when I actually started finding myself and I actually started realizing that that is the message that I want to give to the world which is healing which is love which is awareness I realized that forgiveness is the only thing that was going to take me there and that's why I no longer hate this planet because that is the the energy that I'm putting out there and that is not what I want to put out there. What I want to put out there is love because that's the only way that we're ever gonna make this world a better place. And so I hope that this, uh, this little video, <laughs> this little personal account on how I see the world um, has helped you shift your thoughts. Um, it has helped you to look at things differently and to look at your beliefs differently. People, that hurt other people are people that are coming from a point of pain they're not hurting you because they want to hurt you 
they're hurting you because they've been hurt before and they don't know what to do with that negativity and that charge and so they have to they feel like the only way that they can feel better is by by hurting somebody else and by letting that person know how much in pain they are as we all know we are all mirrors of one another so like attracts like so hate attracts hate pain attracts pain what is it that you want to attract remember that attracting these types of energies doesn't come from your conscious self it doesn't come from today I'm going to attract love no it comes from your heart which is your subconscious mind it's all connected to your subconscious mind it's connected to your past memories it's connected to your past pain and your past loves and even your past lives um, so yeah you know I hope that this was some food for thought for you guys um, and let me know what what you think about this and what energy have you been putting out into the world lately huh okay guys I love you and I hope that this video was amazingly and awakening for you um, you're more than welcome to share the love uh, whether it's on Facebook or whether it's on YouTube don't forget to like my page if it's on Facebook Universal Iris where you can get more of my free content and if you want even more of my free content don't forget to check out my YouTube um, Universal Iris and I love you guys and I'll catch you all next time bye Hi!